Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to another episode of The Circus, my single player Let's Play series. I have been working on the area a little bit since last episode, trying to get some roads in, or at least I wanted to figure out what to do with the roads, and I think this is this is the plan. I mean, this this is going to be the plan, because I don't feel like going through and changing all this. I've done quite a, quite a bit already. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was a little stumped at first with the roads. I didn't really want to do stone, but I couldn't think of anything else that would, uh, would fit as nicely. Because here, all that we have is stone and wood <laughs> and some dark oak. Uh, and I didn't want to do dark oak. I didn't want to do wood paths. Uh, we do have a lot, a lot of, uh, like wood bridges around, and there's going to be some more. Uh, basically anywhere where I need to add in like stairs uh, and such are going to be um, the the spruce and the oak. That nice just brown color. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Also I wanted, I wanted a block that had slabs and stairs. First of all, you know, when you go up a uh, elevation, you're going to want slabs there. But... Uh, the main reason is up on the mountain, I want to use the same road. I want to keep the roads going through here. They might be a little bit thinner as they go through here. You know, they're kind of wide. They're kind of wide, like three wide. Uh, when they go up through here, they might be like two wide, just a little bit thinner. Um, but we have snow up here. Uh, and so, you know, one thing that's really going to distinguish the path is the fact that I want the path to not have snow on it. And to do that, we need to have slabs and stairs. Cause even if the slabs are on the top of the block, which they will be, uh, they still won't have snow cut. They, uh, you can't put snow layers on, uh, on slabs. They have to be on solid blocks. So that should work out pretty nicely. Um, I did add in some some stone slabs uh, in with the cobblestone and stone brick which lightens up the path and it kind of breaks it uh, it it makes it stand out a little bit more from the buildings because that's the biggest problem is that um, with the stone we have lots of stone already and uh, it uh, it just kind of it would blend in too much if I didn't have those stone uh, the stone slabs but since we do I think it looks pretty good I think it came out pretty nicely. So, yeah. So we have the paths. I got quite a few laid out. Uh, we got our town square here. I got paths going over this bridge and right to here. This is going to get redone a little bit, but there's going to be some docks down there. Uh, and then I need to eat. Did some terraforming around this area. Uh, there was a weird cave trench that I filled in. Um, I still need to finish this. Well, I wasn't quite sure where I was going to bring this to. I'm not entirely sure. I do want to have a bridge probably go across like right there. Um, so we'll have to have a path down to there. And that path will eventually circle back to here. Um, I, I don't really have any. I don't have a lot of plans for like this area down here. But this is a pretty nice area. Maybe we could do a market type area, have some some stands, uh, since it is by by the water. And it's a nice nice open area for that. Not entirely sure. I might make some more houses as well. Uh, but this road goes up this way, past these houses, um, and then I think I think to the actual houses. I'm just gonna have like dirt, uh, either path blocks or coarse dirt. Uh, just going to that uh, they don't have they don't have fancy stone paths but I have this bridge here that goes up here uh, and I'll probably have another uh, um, spruce stairs spruce walkway go up to here and then the path will go up that way uh, and then I have this bridge over here as well so pretty pretty good I really like the way that these turned out I think I think they they're good they're nice they kind of just they're not straight they're very windy and meandering uh, except for that one that one's pretty straight but that's all right um, I still I think the next big one that I need to do I want to put a big staircase going up to there it might be a little bit challenging but I think it'll be kind of interesting uh, today what I want to work on 
is I want to get this in or this tavern. I don't know if it'll be an inn. We might put some rooms in there. Um, but I want to work on this and I might need to move this road actually. <laughs> now that I look at this, don't have quite enough space because this isn't actually what uh, it's going to look like. Uh, I have some ideas for the shape of this. It's going to be similar to this. Um, but one thing I was wondering, I think we'll have this be a five wide or like a seven wide building running this way. And then one, two, three, four, five. Should we do that? I guess it'll, it'll be kind of similar to this. Um, I think I want this to come out longer though. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then I want to have another, I want to have a jet out again over here. So if we did like five there and then this would come out to there. And then it'd be one, two, three. Something along those lines. Um, and then I'm wondering, maybe this should actually be shorter. No, I definitely want this to be a bigger house. I'm just trying to think if, uh, if we should bring this all the way back, like straight back, or if we should bring that out and do something like this instead. So that uh, we'd have a gable on this side. And then I still have room here for a path. Just have to squeeze it through here and bring it around there. I was a little worried about that when I was making the path. Um, yeah. That could work. That might work. I'll, I'm almost wondering if I should actually make this wider. One, two, three, four, five. If we brought it out to seven, uh, which is the the width of the church, that'd be pretty big. But we kind of want this to be big, and then all the rest of this could be the same. Bring this out over this way. Then we we'd have quite a bit of space on the inside, which is nice. Lots of room to work with when we finally do some interiors, and we might be able to fit, uh, fit some some rooms in here and make it kind of an in in slash tavern so yeah that's that's kind of the the shape that we're looking at right now with all of this uh switched over to stone i think that'll work for us and the placement's pretty good we don't want to go too far back into the hill um yeah we're kind of right at the edge there I think that'll work. All right, I'm gonna get started on this baby then. Guys, we are running out of stone. Well, we still have this chest, but we've gone through a lot of stone already on this town. Um, I believe this thing was like two thirds full uh, of cobblestone and that's all gone. We've used that all up. We're starting to take away from this stone. Uh, I need to actually smelt up some more schmooze stone. We got some there and stick some in there and I need some charcoal. Been chopping down lots of trees as well because I'm going through tons of wood and tons of charcoal making all this stone. Um, yeah, we'll just keep all that stuff in there. And we're making some progress on our building. I got the whole like structure uh, up. Just have a little bit more detailing to do on the, the faces. Um, and then we should be good. And on the roof. I need to mix in some stone with the roof. But uh, yeah, I like I like the way that this building is turning out. It's a little interesting. There's a lot of copying and pasting going on, and there's going to be more copying and pasting. I'm just going to basically do the same thing on the ends that I've done on other buildings. Uh, just depends on what size it is. Uh, like this, well, this side is it's a five wide, so that will be the same as that. Uh, this will be the same as this. Uh, this side is a big side. That's going to be the same as the church uh, church building, um, which I I would love to not copy and paste. I'd love to have everything kind of have its own own design, have its own unique thing. Um, but if I do copy and paste, it allows me to get things done a lot quicker. And when my goal in this world is to create lots of villages, 
uh, I'm going to have to, you know, reuse, basically reuse assets <laughs> in multiple spots and uh, do things, you know, multiple times and kind of copy and paste uh, so that we can kind of fill out our world. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, the main thing is, you know, you're, you're going through this town and you just see lots of buildings and lots of structures. And I think that's, I think that's good. Um, also rerouted the, the road here. Uh, so that's all done. So yeah, just have some detailing to do. So I'm going to get to work on that. And there we go. Another building in our Yitterby village town. It's more, I guess this one's more of a town, the town of Yitterby. Got all the, uh, the faces done, mixed in some stone with the roof, which I think looks pretty good. Yeah, got some just fancy designs going on. And it fills in the area pretty nicely. I like it. I like it a lot. This area over here is starting to take shape. Um, I know I was looking in it. Well, yeah, it seems kind of empty, I guess, in this area. We just need to kind of clean that up, I think, is the main thing. And maybe, maybe what I do is move this pond back and increase this stone area make this more uh, a bigger square uh, maybe have it kind of include all of this instead of a small circle right here have it the circle kind of come come all the way uh, like to these paths and have that come off there I think that would look a little bit better make it a bigger area uh, eventually we'll have to add some stuff over here right now this is kind of my farm area um, which I guess should be moved uh, but I don't know where to put it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we have this whole area down here, which I'm not entirely sure about. Uh, but it's coming together. It's coming together quite nicely. And I really like how this house or this building turned out. It's interesting. Uh, I think it's good enough for, for an inn slash tavern or tavern slash inn. Not sure if it will have an inn, although I think we'll have enough space to at least put a few rooms. I think that would be... Very interesting. Lots of space to work in here. Work with in here. Very good. Uh, so I think to end off the episode, I'm just continuing working on these roads and these paths. I started working on this one here. Got this uh, this walkway up to here. This is the last like big uh, bridge path thing <laughs> that I need to do. I think. Um, the rest of it I could do with just the stone root or stone. Uh, paths I believe um, but yeah we needed a way up here and so I have this and we just need to put some posts in here now so I guess we'll do something like that maybe one higher I suppose and we'll have to dig this down oh and that goes hmm when it goes like this I never know how to deal with that uh, because obviously you don't want it to just be sitting on dirt you don't want it to stop you know up there but it also it doesn't look the greatest if you just have it come all the way down here uh, so I'm wondering is it good to maybe do something like that I guess usually what I would do in this case is just cover it up we'll just cover it up I think that would be the best option then you don't have to look at it and that that, that works so we got that, uh, that one, and then let's see, where else do we need one? Probably put one right here. Let's just fall down here and build this up. And then there really doesn't need to be any on this side since it is kind of attached to the ground, but maybe we do that. I almost think we just need one like here. Just do that. Uh, maybe we can do that and have one there. Uh, then it kind of zigzags back and forth, which I really like. So it zigzags to there. Oh, then the next one is way over there. Um, I wonder, maybe we'll put another one here. I don't want to add too many, but we do want to make this thing look nice and supported. So how's that? That could work. That could work, maybe. 
Maybe. I think we'll go with that. I think we'll live with that. I don't like that it doesn't zigzag, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's all right. I feel like, I guess the main thing is I feel like we need one here, but I don't want to add one there because we have that right there. So that would just, I think it would be out of place. Um, so now, um, maybe we put another one on the inside here. Do something like that. Although it kind of sticks out over there. So maybe we should have, maybe we put that here instead. Hmm, things to think about. Although here we have another problem where, or have the same problem where uh, the, if we put a post down, it's gonna be sitting on something. Do something like that. Maybe extend that one up a little bit. Um, yeah, cause then that's gonna be sitting on there. So what do you do there? <laughs> If, uh, eh, like how far do you stick that down? We definitely don't want it to go all the way down there. Hmm. Maybe we change. <laughs> I never know how to deal with that. Usually I find some way around it. You know, like we either don't put one there or change the path a little bit so that it actually will work there is another suggestion. I think we'll put one right here, which that one will work just fine. And that one doesn't need to be that high. You know, we could put one, instead of putting one there, we could put one right here. And that might look a little bit better. Because then this one, we can bring down and then hide behind the, uh, the dirt. In fact, I'm going to bring this dirt up a little bit so that it's not sticking down too far. Although that looks a little weird. Only going that far. Let's put it right here. There we go. Do something like that. This is a little bit too flat, but I can fix that pretty easily. Just gotta add some interest to this. Maybe something like that. Um. Definitely feels like we need something supporting that. Is the only issue. But no matter what, if we put something there, unless we, unless we move this over, yeah. <laughs> what did I do to myself? This is just awkward. Um. Hmm. I think I might have found a solution. So I put a post there. And there was, there was a path here. This was there. I'm wondering if we should bring this all the way down or maybe one thing I could do with these is, um, put like a stair, an upside down stair that goes into the, the, uh, again, we can bring this up a little bit, but it goes into the wall so that like we could do this and then do something like that. So it's it's like it's still supported, kind of anchored into the wall. Or we could just bring this all the way down and go to there. And then we'll fix this up so it doesn't look like we're just covering things up. We'll make it look a little bit more natural. That's not a problem. Uh, maybe put one right there. You know, do something like that. Maybe... Uh, one right there. That doesn't look too bad. It's kind of a big post, but it also it connects to you know that side and then that side as well. So it's not it's not like a super long post that's just holding something up uh, way up high. So how does that look? Is that enough posts, or do we need more than that? Uh, like I said, it's kind of attached to the to the mountain there. Let's throw this egg. We populate. Um, so we don't really need any posts there. I was thinking maybe one on the outside, but I don't think we need that because we do have, it's kind of like it's supported by the one on the inside. I guess the big thing is, what does it look like from down here? Um, 
I guess it would be nice if we had something there. Just because you can't really see that middle post. Like from from the from down here it it might look a little bit better. That one's not too bad. Because you can see you can see those three posts kind of supporting it. It looks supported. So that that's not too bad there. But I think there, since you can't really see anything up there, we might need some more some more posts. How are we doing on the oak wood? Might need to go harvest some more pretty soon. Um, so we could do we could do one here and one here as well. Maybe we'll try that. Bring this up, and that should be enough. And then one right here. And I need to eat. All right, let's eat. And up we go. And there. Although that does make this look, you know, this was kind of rounded. Now it's not. <laughs> now it's pretty square there. So that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, I don't really like how square that is. There we go. Just added a few blocks there. I think that will kind of bring the roundness back. And that might be it. Oh yeah, I like that. I think that's it. There we go. That is a beautiful path there. Nice and natural, weaving back and forth up there. Nice way to get up there. Uh, one thing I am thinking, um, you know, I'm going with the, the oak wood and the spruce because they, they're kind of the same color or very similar colors. They blend well together. And that's what I wanted is all these wood structures. I sort of wanted them to just, uh, you know, to be one color and sort of blend, all of it blend together. Um, we do have these bright, uh, these very light colored ends of these posts though that we could cover up with these. Now in our texture pack, this looks great in the circus. Uh, texture pack, custom texture pack. We have the spruce trap doors uh, instead of the normal ones. In the normal texture pack, this probably wouldn't look too bad. Um, it wouldn't give you the same feel as we have here, uh, but it wouldn't look terrible. But we could do something like this, and it just kind of makes the whole thing blend together even more. Uh, I don't know if it'll blend together too much or if this is if this is good. So we do something like that and then it it all really blends together. And hmm I don't know. I think I like it. Yeah, you know, look from down here. I mean down here it doesn't really look any different cuz you couldn't see the tops anyways. But as you're going up, you you don't really see those those bright spots. Maybe we do want the the ends of the logs though. Maybe that is a little bit too much of the same color. We need that that tiny variation. Yeah, I think we'll take these off. All right. Anyways, that is going to be it for today. Uh, another episode of the circus. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, next episode. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do yet. It, it kind of depends on what I feel like doing. Um, we are either going to keep working here at Yitterby and let's see, I'm going to extend those up a little bit. And uh, I've done all the buildings that I had marked out. So those, that's good. <laughs> uh, right now I want to work on um, connecting everything together, finishing these roads or at least working on these roads more, put some roads through the mountains, uh, and getting the dock. So we might work on that next episode, or we might step away from Yitterby for a little bit, because uh, we've spent a few episodes here, and it's nice to have... Uh, I like having a couple of things going on and being able to kind of move back and forth. Um, we might head over to that village over there and start working on making a, a villager breeder type thing. I'm, it, it won't be anything too fancy. Um, we're basically just going to make a village with lots of doors so that we get lots of villagers breeding and we can kill them off and get more. Um, I am, I'm doing all right on tools. I actually have tons of tools. I went and did a bunch of trading. 
I think I, I'm very low on emeralds, but I have all these shovels and tons of pickaxes and tons of axes that I bought. So I'm, I'm pretty good on tools at the moment. Uh, so it's not really a necessity uh, to do, but um, if we do need to buy anything more, if we do need to do more trading, I, I've traded out pretty much all of the, uh, the paper traders, <laughs> all the paper trades. Nobody wants to buy paper anymore uh, in the villages that I've found. So we do need to get some newer villagers and it'd be nice to get um, some farmers that we could we could sell food to as well. So we'd have another source of uh, of emeralds. But yeah, so we're either going to be working on that or working on keep going on Yitterby for a little bit longer. Uh, I guess you guys, if you want, you can leave your input. I might start the next episode before I put this one up, but uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.